Welcome fellas into this new video of TechExpress. If you're looking to get a full uh, usage of the Prezi, well Prezi is a really great application that can be helping you to generate presentations, really great frames. Um, basically, if you're a student, teacher or a business professional, this tutorial will help you master this from scratch. So I'm going to be showing you how to use this application. Uh, really basic info and you can figure out by yourself like how to make more frames more presentations i just show you the elements i'll just show you how to get started i'll just show you how to use the toast and then you can use them and implement them on your own so first of all let's start by creating a prezi account you can focus into prezi.com go into sign up for free and check out that you can have now your account with your email as well as a passcode and your occupation basically and your license in my case is the basic mode you can manage your license and upgrade it if you wanted to anytime there's an standard plan a plus plan and a premium plan all of them have a lot of different uh tools for example they have the ai generation and design they have the privacy and sharing there's the creation features for example presentation video recording um present review shareable broadcast links for live presenting the advanced training for example that basically the path depends on what you're actually trying to aim for and doing to Prezi. let's focus now into the basic plan now once we have an account created let's explore a little bit more about the Prezi dashboard so once you're in you have here the dashboard you can create new presentations here you can see all your products you have access to all the templates here we have access to all the presentations to all our videos all our infographics library check out your brand kit and stuff that you have deleted so far so to start i basically start with an actual template templates are elements that can be helping you with pre-designed elements that fits your topic and you can customize them later you can click into any element to edit it and then later use them to do um to of course to add your own branding whatever so let's try out for example with a template chooser and here have this template that you can check them out i have a personal story meeting notes project report project roadmap basically those are the templates that you can use to get started so i'm going to start with something easily for example this one the project roadmap and I choose to use this template. If I clicked into using this with artificial intelligence, basically what's going to happen is that the artificial intelligence will be implemented directly into my editor that can be helping me to change. For example, here the title of my presentation should be uh, workflow. Let's go for text pressed workflow for my clients. If we continue, I will use this answer to suggest content and design ideas. For example, this is the work flow of TechExpress and we focused into checking out our working hours for example one I can talk about video suggest ideas I can talk about video creation video editing uh, publishing and marketing and the number fifth the CEO Right, so when I hit into generate, basically all that information to be imported into my Prezi uh, design with the template that I have chose. So it's a really great workflow that basically can be implemented and do. You don't have to do like a lot of things because all the importing elements is now being appearing in here. For example, it suggests to you to add, for example, section one, introduction to the workflow. Section two, overview of the workflow, importance of the working hours, uh, ideation phase, video production, and I think this actually does a really great work. And it gives you the opportunity to change the design if you want to. We can change different actions, we can change the background actually, we can change uh, the color palette. I'm going to try out with this one actually. And I go for the editor. When I click into go to the editor, now I have access to change frame by frame. Now, I can click here into Lepa where I can check out one frame. For example, this is the overview of all the frames. But if I click into my frame number one, this automatically goes straight into the zone to frame number one. So here, introduction to the to express workflow. This is my workflow and I can just double click and I can edit it as I wanted to. For example, let's um, get started, right? I'm gonna just let's get started dot 
And when I finished here, I can add more elements into the Opera Slide. I can add another text, I can add a shape, I can add a media, and a story block, an animation if I wanted to. I'm gonna try out with this circle, just as an example. And if I wanted to, I can change the color of the shape. Now when I finished here, when I'm done here, I'm gonna move on to the next frame. So here's the overview of the workflow. Now really important, if you wanted to change the workflow or where it should be located, I can just click here and I can move this workflow, for example, this, I'm gonna put it here and it still is the framework number one. And if I click here to zoom to frame number two, this one be sending me straight directly into frame. So basically it's gonna be making a zoom to the whole green zone. So this is like a safe zone. Now I can move on to the frame number three and check out how it actually sent me somewhere else. So I can change the workflow, for example, like this. I select all of this uh, section and I move this, let's say below here. Now I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Now let's click into same to frame number two and send it into same number three. So you can see that it actually do, does a really great work. So I'm going to just import a quick arrow here like this. There we go. And I'm going to change the color of the arrow and it does look a little bit better, right? So go from frame number two to frame number three. Really great work. Now when you finish to checking out all your frames, to edit your, all your frames, what I'd love to do first of all is to add a multimedia if you want to. For example, let's say that I go for uh, frame number 15. And here I have this image. I wanted to replace this with my own image. So we have here the add to my library, add animation, the linking crop, remove the background, change it for color, a stop reset, and lastly the replaced. When I click into replaced, uh, here we have the into the right section the replaced elements where I can just add my own image or an actual GIF. When I clicked it, automatically should be replaced it with exactly the same position. So I'm gonna just do this smaller so it can fit into my whole frame and change into another one. And basically that's how we can actually get started with the Prezi. Once you finish with all the editing tools, you have the frames, here's the opera style where you can add more elements. When I finish this, I can go for the option that says present and I stop my presentation. If I want to, I can export this as a PDF file, but remember that a PDF is a flat element that is not gonna be showing you animations and all of that. So I'm gonna choose the option that says present, stop my presentation, and here's the presentation with the watermark of the Prezi. And basically this is how I can actually get stronger presentations here from Prezi. Really, really great workflow elements, really, really awesome. So you get started when you click into one element, automatically should be appearing in the, and really, really awesome when you get started with creating your own um, presentation workflow zooms and all of that. So that's how you actually know how to use a Prezi like a pro. So if you find this tutorial helpful guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below what topics you would like to see next. Thank you guys for watching this whole, whole tutorial. Thank you so much and hopefully we can all see you next time.